where our bow tail is. Today I'm trying to use up all these uh, squashes I got from my garden. I'm getting overflowed with them, so I'm making a, uh, a Tex Mex squash casserole. And we got here some guano chili so far, and some diced onion, and uh, a bunch of them squash and a little olive oil so far. It smells delicious already, and we're just getting started. Join us. Ciao, y'all. Now, now, today. Alright, so this is gonna saute in for about five or six minutes. Trying to let all that break down. And I'm seeing my onions starting to tr turn uh, translucent there. So it's time to throw some garlic in. If you throw the garlic in too soon, the garlic will burn on you, so you gotta be careful to put that in a little later in the cooking process. Ooh, that's smelling good, folks. Some chilies. That's the poblano pepper in there. That's what the chilies are. And the onion, now the garlic. Mmm, that's smelling good. There haven't been no seasons yet. Just the vegetables so far. Alright, so what we're gonna do to this now is add a few seasons here. I got some chili powder, so we're gonna add some chili powder in there. Like so. And a little bit of ground cumin in there. Like so. Get that stir. It's gonna smell good when you put that chili powder in all in there. Mm -hmm. it really starts bringing out the flavors. So if you uh, had a garden this year and you had a lot of squash and stuff, it's a good little recipe. You can use up a lot of squash at one time. So the next thing I do in my casserole here for Mexican style uh, squash casserole is I throw a big spoonful of uh, chicken base in there. And this is Members Mark. I got this one at uh, Sam's Club. Uh, if you had a normal grocery store, you can get the better than bouillon or whatever, but uh, really intensifies the flavor. So instead of adding a bunch of salt in all of this, the chicken base is pretty salty, and that'll be our flavoring agent as far as saltiness. All right, so get that all mixed up in there with that chicken base. Smelling absolutely delicious. You could actually eat this right now, it'll be a really damn good side dish, but uh, we're gonna casserole it up. So we're gonna add some uh, whipping cream in here. Almost a quart. There we go. Probably about, uh, not probably a quart, probably three cups I'll put in there. That looks perfect right there. Now we're going to thicken this up. Now there's two ways you can thicken this up. You can use a cornstarch, which is really fast and easy, or you can make a roux. And uh, I'm going to see what I have available. I don't even know what I got here at home, so uh, let me see what I got. And uh, we'll use whatever we got for thickening it up. So I went in my drawers here, I found some cornstarch. So I just added uh, cornstarch and water together to make a little slurry up. And then I'm going to use a whisk to whisk this in. And uh, I don't have my tripod on me right now, so uh, I do this off camera. And uh, but you can kind of see there what we're looking like. We want to get this thick enough to where it's like a casserole. And then we're going to add some cheese and all on top and bake it off. That's going to be a delicious little side dish. And a good way to use up your squash. A good tasty way. And uh, a little different because it's uh, got the Mexican seasons and the chilies and all in there. And uh, give you a little something different in life than the same old, same old. There we go. So it's like the consistency of a thick chowder. That's what we're looking for. All right, folks, to finish this uh, recipe off, we're going to add uh, a couple cups of cooked rice in there. And all I have is basmati, so normally I'd use like a a white rice, like a short grain or something, but uh, that's all I got. So this is what we're using. This is looking to be fantastic. And it's fogging up my camera here, but there we go. 
mix that in good. And then we're gonna top this with a Mexican blend cheese. And we're gonna bake it off. There we are. All right, guys, so for the uh, cheese, I'm using the Mexican cheese blend, the four cheese blend. It's uh, all these ones listed here, Jack, Cheddar, Asadero, Queso Quesadilla. Uh, so yeah, you can use straight up Cheddar or Colby Jack, whatever you like, really. Up to you. There we go, folks. Beautiful casserole. Pretty big casserole, actually. It's probably about a 10 pound casserole, at least eight or nine pounds. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to bake this off, take it to my brother's house, and uh, enjoy a Sunday lunch with them and share our garden goodness. And since everything's cooked, all we're doing is heating it up just to melt the cheese. And you can actually put this in your fridge overnight, uh, like I'm doing, and then tomorrow I'll fire this up in the oven, melt the cheese, get it hot all the way through, and uh, we'll have a nice little dinner. Lunch. Side dish. Ooh, folks, look at that there. Casserole. Yeah, out there all the